हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश का ज्ञान चिंतन के साथ एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक फॉर आई स्टार्स टू सो बिफोर वी बिगिन ऑन डिस्कसिंग दैट न्यू टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू सम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट माय अनदर प्लेलिस्ट इन व्हिच आई हैव डिस्कस 100 वोकैबुलरीज एडवांस्ड वोकैबुलरीज आई वुड से व्हिच कैन बी यूटिलाइज्ड इन योर लाइक फॉर योर आईएलटी प्रिपरेशन और फॉर योर पीटी प्रिपरेशन सो इफ यू रियली विश टू लर्न सम न्यू वोकैबुलरी with meaning and with sentences then you can watch through those videos okay and if you feel correct then please do not forget to create sentences in the comment box of the video okay so that we can verify and we can discuss further whether your sentences are correct or not okay now it's time to discuss the statement of today's lesson okay the statement for this particular i'll start to is something like this that many countries spend a lot of money in art some people think this particular investment of money in art is necessary but other things that this particular money is better spent on improving health and education system discuss both the views and give your opinion friends the type of this particular essay is something like in which we need to discuss both the views it means it is mandatory for us to write about both the points point number 1 is that we need to write about why money should be spent on art point number 2 in which other people believe that why money should be spent on education and health system that is the two questions which are required to be answered in your essay the answer of the first question will be your body paragraph number 1 and the answer of second question in which you need to give the reasons about why money is required to be spent on health and education system the answer of that question will be your body paragraph number 2 and at last we will write or you need to write conclusion okay but as i said always always like try to follow four paragraph pattern and out of those four paragraph the first one will be your introduction and for writing introduction there are two activities which are quite essential or which are quite important the first one is keyword hunting and the second one is your writing thesis statement okay so let's start finding keyword for this particular statement as you can see friends the common thing in the two views it means like one set of people believes that money should be spent on art other people believe that money should be spent on health and education system what is the common between those two views the common thing between those two views is spending money it means that is what your keyword is it means that you can write some general statement by using that keyword and then your thesis statement and that will be your introduction paragraph now the question will be what kind of sentences we need to write by using spending money as a keyword so that we will see in a minute in a next slide in which we have developed entire introduction paragraph but before that let's start discussing thesis statement for this particular essay now friends like if i give you the basic definition of the thesis statement then it is nothing but the statement by which you will tell your examiner that i am going to write about this two points or this points about this points in my further essay so that your examiner will become aware okay i am going to read this this points in my further essay so that is what the basic definition of your thesis now if i talk about the general idea of the thesis statement okay the thesis statement which you are uh, seeing on this screen is like in that particular thesis statement we have utilized some advanced vocabulary but if i if i tell you some general idea of the thesis statement for this particular statement it 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 is something like that that although it means spending money is in art is also like although some people believe that spending money in art is necessary in my opinion 
spending money in for health and education system is also necessary that is what your general idea of this thesis statement it means that money should be spent in art also and money should be spent in health and education system also but if i reframe my that general idea by using some advanced vocabulary then my thesis statement will become something like this and that is although the growth of art in the nation can play a vital role for betterment of it in my opinion an adequate amount of monetary funds should also be allocated for flourishing flourishing means for the progress for flourishing flourishing field comprising education and healthcare it means money should be spent on both the on three of the fields that is what your general idea of the thesis state okay so now we have discussed keyword we have discussed thesis statement now it's time to see how introduction paragraph can be developed by using this points so let's see the same now it's time to discuss body paragraph number 1 in which we are going to discuss the first view of from this particular statement in which some people believe that the money should be spent on art why what are the reasons for that particular view that we are going to discuss in body paragraph number 1 so without wasting any time let's start discussing body paragraph number 1 <laughs> the first reason why people believe that the money should be spent on art according to me would be see if any one particular country invest more money in art in a longer run the creativity creativity of individuals within that country will increase right and as a result of that more creativity intellectual growth will be more intellectual means mental growth will be more so that is the first reason why any country should invest more money in art by investing money in art the creativity of people of that country will be increased and their intellectual growth will be also increased this is the first reason why money should be spent on art in any country now let's go for the second reason okay which supports the view that the money should be spent on art in any country and the second view or the second reason is this kind of investment or like once more investment will be done in art and once more number of people will be involved in art this kind of activities can rejuvenate people rejuvenate means can refresh people people will become more joyful people will become more active and to some extent this kind of art relevant activities can also cure mental ailments ailments means disease okay can also help this kind of art relevant activities can also help you if you have any mental diseases so this kind of art relevant activities like let's say for example singing dancing or painting or anything else like like being like taking part in some plays or something like that any art relevant activities can also help you to come out from some mental ailments some mental diseases and just because of this reason proper investment in art is required for any of the country now the third point why investment is required in art in any country the third point would be like as we have discussed first and two points right ultimately the result of first and two points will be more productive work force in any nation will be developed see if people are refreshed if their creativity is high then ultimately the workforce the number of individual who are working in different fields in any nation will be more and if that is the case the more production good quality products will be developed good quality actions will be taken in the nation and in a longer run it will become beneficial for nation and just because of this reason investment in art is necessary 
now the last and the most important point according to me which suppose this view that why investment in art is necessary it means that if proper investment in art is done then more number of individuals will become will attracted towards this fields and they will spend more time in this kind of fields and in a longer run they will become specialized in this art related activities and that special like instead of specialized you can also use word veterans they will become veterans in that particular respective art field and this kind of individual can develop positive image of your country and in the entire world and in that way also it is beneficial for your country and just because of that reason investment in art is required okay so these are the four points which supports the view that why investment in art is necessary now let's see by using this points how we can develop body paragraph number 1 for this particular essay now it's time to see body paragraph number 2 in which we need to discuss or we need to give reasons about for supporting the view that why investment of money in healthcare and education system is necessary okay so without wasting any time let's start discussing body paragraph number 2 <laughs> the first point friends according to me uh, which suppose the investment of money in healthcare and education system is that like if proper investment in education system begins right then this investment can help in providing education to children of deprived class deprived class means the children who are poor okay if proper amount of money is being spent on education system then poor children will also get education and just because of that reason your number of individuals in your nation the number of educated indi individuals in your nation will become higher and it is beneficial for your country and just because of that reason investment in education system is necessary like in parallel to investment in art okay now if i talk about the second advantage right if i talk about some graduate students who are working in some uh, who are graduate students of medical field let's say for example right then why investment in that education system plus healthcare system is required it means like to support that view i am giving you one advantage and that is the advan that advantage is something like this this investment of money can help in purchasing some equipments for the medical research by the graduate students to develop something right we 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 have seen so many colleges are available in our country not in our country across all the world so many uh, what i can say so many colleges and so many institute and so many universities are available in which uh, so many laboratories are available but there are lack of proper equipments okay there are no proper equipments are available and due to which students cannot do uh, proper practical work and just because of that reason although they have good marks in academics but they are quite poor in terms of having practical knowledge so if proper investment in education system is done then properly the what i can say that particular money can be spent on purchasing some proper uh, equipment for this practical work and in a longer run students can become more bright by using this proper equipment for doing proper research and just because of that reason investment in education system is also required in parallel to art now let's discuss the third point or third reason in which we are going to discuss why investment in healthcare system is required now whatever money or whatever investment that we are going to do or if anyone does in healthcare system then that investment can help in supporting research to find out some generic options of some expensive medicines right if that money is being spent in healthcare system then by using that money we can initiate some research by which we can find out some generic options of some expensive medicines which are being utilized to cure some uh, some deadly diseases okay 
and if we somehow like if we are able to find out some generic medicines then to the poor people we can deliver those medicines and it will become beneficial for the country and just because of that reason investment in healthcare system is also required in parallel to art okay now the last point according to me uh, which suppose the view that okay the investment of money in healthcare system is required by using that investment or by using that money okay more number of medical centers can be opened within the country and that will ultimately become helpful for the citizen of the country for the poor citizens of the country and in that way and just because of that reason investment in healthcare system is required in parallel to investment in art right so these are the four points which supports the view that investment in education system and uh, in healthcare system is equally important as the investment in art now by using these four particular points how body paragraph number 2 can be developed that we are going to see in the next slide so let's say see the same now it's time to discuss the conclusion so let's see the conclusion <laughs> so as i have said friends uh, normally whenever you have to write the conclusion of any given topic then probably you just need to ask yourself who and what okay it means that right now if i talk about this particular statement right uh, the the scenario of this particular statement is whether money should be spent on art or whether money should be spent on education and health system this is the scenario okay now for the solution of this scenario who can do something and what can be done now according to me the answer of who would be government of relevant countries okay it means government of relevant countries can do something now what can be done okay the answer of that question what can be done that would be that the money should be spent on all these three fields because each and every field is quite important for the development of country okay so answer of what can be done would be that the money should be spent in equal like money should be equally spent on all these three fields that is what your idea general idea of your conclusion it means government should spend money equally on all these three fields that is what your conclusion or that is what your solution for the given scenario right now if i reframe the same general idea by using some advanced vocabulary then how or which kind of conclusion i can make so let's see the same to conclude although providing financial support for art is absolute necessary task for any nation for any nation it means providing or using investment in art is absolutely necessary relevant officers or government should also ponder meticulously it means they should also think properly for the education and health domain to invest or to use money uh, from the investment it means government should spend money on healthcare system also on education system also and on art also because by using Uh, all these three fields play a vital role for nation's growth okay friends i hope you like this explanation and now it's time to see entire essay slide by slide okay so let's see the same and uh, if you like the video then please like share and subscribe to my channel we will meet next weekend with new topic till then be happy be safe we will meet soon thank you so much